Hello everyone, it's Kay Michelle with Dragonfly Designs. Welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you stopped by and welcome back if you are returning. Thank you so much for the love and support. Okay, I have been playing. This is going to be our mixed media junk journal in our kind of Oklahoma book. Um, and this is uh, the stuff we have made so far. So I thought we would work in um, getting, ooh, I just got another idea, uh, getting some stuff done and put in the journal. Oh, then I got these pages here. Okay, let me get everything out of the way. Um, I wanted to play with spray inks uh, today. And, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Um, that red was really pretty. And remember I told you I used Dilution inks. And what I have done is got these little mini misters. And uh, pretty much I think I filled half with the uh, spray ink and the other half with the water. It still makes these things so uh, vibrant. Look at that. That's what I did. Um, dyed some paper. Um, this one... This one I dyed orange, marigold, yeah, dried marigold, just to give it, and these are actually, <sighs> my late husband brought them home a long time ago, and I really think they're donut grabbers, you know, I think. They're a little stronger, like a tissue paper, like a Kleenex, so, hmm. So I thought we'd just come along for a play today and I wanted to get them out. I haven't played with them in a long time. Sweet. Do you see, whoa, I just knocked them all over. Like if we were bowling, I would have got a strike. And I just wanna show you, you don't need your brayer. I just use my brayer because I took the wrap off, okay? But if you can see where uh, the paper towel went, you get a little design. It is so cool. Um, oh, I wasn't able to spray. See, some of them are clogged up and I just, I just <sighs> can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to cleaning. I always overdo the ink, I always have. And now I'm gonna take it and bunch it up and blop it, blop it, stomp it, stomp it. There, look at that luscious design. Isn't that gorgeous? Inks are messy, as all get out, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you could definitely tell when I have had a session with my spray inks, but y'all look how gorgeous that is. Love it, love it. Now, oh, I want to do one. Oh, that's my favorite. I don't know if I could. All right, I'll do it. Um, po uh, pony bed blush. Gosh, I can't even talk. Oh, 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 oh. And you can run it. Dab it, dab it. Where is a yellow mustard seed? Let's try it. That's got black on it. Something. Got my trusty old embroidery needle here. And you can use the top of it and then the needle part to get into the crevices. Okay, I think that cleaned it. It's like it's been mixed with green. Oh, that looked pretty. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And when you have this, you can grab your paper towel, but if you have the back of your napkin, go like this. Okay. Go like that. You 
see what I'm doing? Look at that yumminess. I mean, y'all y'all don't even know how many dryer sheets I threw away. Because <clears throat> that's what one lady told me. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, let's spruce this one up. What about True Sunshine? Let's see if she sprays. The sprays can be finicky, but you know, if you like what the spray does, you either live with it or you don't, you know? Ooh, peel paint. Oh, that is gorgeous orange for our matte color. Ooh. I like it. I like it just like that. We can put a focal point right there, okay. And another tissue. Okay. <laughs> All right. So everybody kind of got the gist of that. You just kind of spray it. Um, you pick it up, save it all. None's wasted. Um, I need something right there. How about a green? And if you do it slow, hold it over. And it does squirts. Okay. You have to work at it. Not that difficult to do. Just takes a little practice. There. Cool. I like that. Oh, and I wanted to show you my other thing here. This is a metal glaze. 12 hour intense liquid foil. Uh, this is made by Hard Candy. Five guesses of where I got it. Yes, Dollar Tree, but now it's Dollar Twenty Five Tree. But I did get this at Dollar Tree, and I just see exactly what I want to do. All right, so it's like a lip gloss doohickey, and I am just going to use it. I have um, all of uh, it's a LA color, and uh, they're at. Um, Dollar Tree, and it's a uh, powdered eyeshadow, and but it's not in a compact; it's in little jars. And uh, uh, I use those. Uh, I brought those home and um, added water to them. I took the powder out and put them in um, little spray bottles. Um, and uh, made them glimmer, like glimmer mist, which I have glimmer mist right here I'm about to show you. Okay, this is makeup, y'all, from Dollar Tree. Yes, it is. You can um, use this to uh, line your pages, you know, ink around your pages. Let's do that to this one. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just like we normally do, just like I did with the paintbrush and the black paint. But that's a good way to get a good frame around it. It's no high dollar paint, no. I'm bad, I, I said I was going to get on Instagram and I have not, I apologize. <sighs> I'm trying to, um, I am trying <laughs> to get a schedule, but um, it's nice here now, go figure. Um, but I'm sure it's gonna get hot again. And we still have my car in the shop and just a lot of things up in the air. Look how gorgeous that is with just that little gold frame. Simple. And if we cut it in half, we just ink it like we do everything else. All right. Well, I want, oh, where's the Glimmer Mist? Here is Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I absolutely love this stuff. 
Can you make your own? Yes, you can. Uh, let me get mine by the way and see if I can't show you the difference. Here's great jelly. And this is LA Shimmer. Ugh, let me dust it off so you won't have to see it all dusted. All right, and so I just got those uh, storage bottles from uh, Walmart. I had that piece of paper, did Yes, there's a piece of paper. Okay, and shake it up really good because all the sediment uh, ends on the bottom. That is eyeshadow. That is grape jelly, LA Shimmer from Dollar Tree in a bottle mixed with alcohol, alcohol. You mix it like a uh, half and half with alcohol. Or actually, I think I put, all right, let me revisit this and I'll get back to you. Um, because I still have it. I think I only put like, like just enough to, to get the color I wanted and add our alcohol to it, okay? But isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Yep, that definitely smells like alcohol. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful, simple backgrounds. And that's so subtle. It can go with all your neutral digis and uh, teen. Oh, that would look beautiful with Tina's digis. Even though I don't have them yet, <laughs> I'm patiently waiting. Somebody decided Sarah needed some new tires instead of mommy needing some um, ink. Okay, I love to do the glimmer mist like that uh, with the tip. Let me show you. Get your paper towel and dab. Isn't that the coolest design? I love doing that. The coolest design. It's so subtle. But isn't that cool? I like that brown. We're going to have to use that brown. Love it. All right. So there's your mixed media lesson on ink. So I'm going to put that to the side. That's a lost cause. You can get spray ink up off your desk with alcohol. Just saying. All right. So let's move all these fun stuff out of our way. We have this ticket and I do need the ink. Have I asked how y'all are doing? I am so sorry. I did my Junk Journal July video earlier and so I guess I thought I'd already asked you, but I'm asking you again on nine o'clock on Saturday is when this should post. Simply gorgeous. And y'all, I did find my pretty ladies. I don't know if I told you, but I got a ephemera. <sighs> All right, say so I have this huge tote in the middle of a room and a tornado comes through. And in this tote is nothing but ephemera. That's what my craft corner looks like. I'm just saying. Um, I'm going to come back and put on embellishments because my embellishments are totally scattered. But the main thing is, when I can't find something, I will tear something up to find it. And that's exactly what I did. Oh, cute. Look at that. We'll put you right there. You're just pretty. Um, so, I did find my pretty ladies. That's on the good side. On the bad side tornado came and hit. Oh, let's do it on this. Oh, let's do the brown. Hmm. Choices, choices. Oh, I did it. I would have never been able to do that again. I just reached back there and got red tulips. I would have never, ever, ever been able to do that. Snap. You gotta watch, cause like I said, it, it's, you know, 
every issue with the spray bottle, yeah, I'll have. Ooh, look at all that. Now I'm just gonna mop it up. But yeah, um, if y'all don't like wasting anything, like I said, I've used these plenty of times. Um, you'll get a really color, a uh, nice color, or, you know, if you can, uh, uh, deli, uh, sheets, you know, that you get your, uh, sandwich in, or these little donut things, when you go to the convenience store, just grab a couple, they, they don't care, and, um, then once they're dry, you can tear this and glue this to your page, and it gives it texture, a whole nother look, it is just, oh, it's awesome. Okay, back to the journal. <laughs> <laughs> now that I totally squirreled. Oh, look how beautiful that is. And I am. I'm going to put it right there upside down. Yes, I am. Okay, I don't have my brace on, y'all. So, I was okay earlier. Okay, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Okay. I think we're in the clear. I don't know what I did to my wrist, but it's not hurting anymore. Thank you. Oh, that was scary. Because I couldn't even grab the thing at dawn, the soap, dish soap. And I'm like, y'all, I've got to go to the store later and, and physically get it. So, okay. I will trim that. Okay. All right, that's all I'm gonna try. Cuteness, cuteness. Are you dry? You are dry. And then you're too big. No, you fit just perfect. Sweet, like I said, when I get my, oh, and we still got our cowboy and Indian too. Um, when I get my ephemera together, I will. I think I am. This has been annoying me for long enough. Okay, I'm better. I'm not getting cute, so we need to ink you. So what y'all got planned for this weekend? I know the la a lot of the ladies are on um, holiday or getting ready to go on holiday. We are not going on a holiday because we are on a mission to have a new house. So, no, no rest for the weary. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. Oh, I just love that. Love it, love it. So it needs a paper clip. And it needs a Tim Holtz paper clip. Oh, snap. That's almost too. Oh, there's another ephemera. I'm finding ephemera everywhere, y'all. Mm -mm. I don't even want to talk about it. Thank gosh I have so many butterflies that they had to go into their own book. This is nothing but butterflies. Yeah. And there's still some ephemera, but they got butterflies, so yeah, I don't know. Good writing, I love that. I like that, love that. I think I'll leave it. You know, what we could do is your purple, you will, it would match. Um, 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 I know what I'm looking for and I can't see it. <laughs> I'm just gonna get, okay. <clears throat> I don't know how much y'all know about coffee dyeing. All right. Um, I have one of those big containers, like what they have at school, uh, like a, a, a baking uh, pan will do, okay? And I know Leslie, she's got this cool one that just leaves the coolest design. Oh, so jealous. Anywho, um, 
if you have one, that's if, that's great. If you don't, do not worry about it. Um, I got so, I was so happy with myself because you know how they make the plastic lace tablecloths? They look like lace tablecloths, but they're like really plastic. Well, be very careful if you go to purchase one. I got so excited. I was like, oh, I can lay it down and I'll have a lace pattern on my coffee dye. I was all excited, y'all. I got that thing home and it's smooth on both sides. It just looks like lace. So uh, open up the package. I suggest that, you know, they're not gonna get mad at you for doing that and, and feel it and make sure it has the texture. If it has the texture of lace, score. Because then what you can do is, uh, I, I normally go outside um, and I have a table. Can I show you that design? Probably not. Maybe. Nope. Oh, now I have to get this crinkly. <sighs> I love that sound. I love that sound. This is um, tracing paper. Uh, so you can get tracing paper. This is regular notebook paper. What I do is in a baking pan and I buy the cheapest coffee out there, okay? And I just brew up some coffee and let it sit and get it real brewed. And then I put it in that pan. And I normally, I, I'm not patient. Oh, there's the design on my table. It's a, that little, you know, um, wrought iron kind of pattern on my back table. So anywho, um, if, I'm, if I'm in the zone and I'm with it, I'll normally run one through and lay it down on the table. Run one through and lay it down on the table. And yes, I have papers everywhere. Some people um, leave, uh, there's tons of videos out there. So uh, just look up uh, coffee dye in your papers. You can avocado dye your papers. Uh, Leslie with 507 Willow House Journals dyed hers with cabbage. What else have I heard? Cabbage, avocado, uh, food coloring, coffee, tea, anything, anything, um, you know, and it's mixed media. You play, uh, try it out. You know, it's not going to hurt to try it out. And uh, you can do it on wax paper, like I said, regular notebook paper, cardstock. Um, you can uh, coffee dye like cardstock and then print out your digis on it. <gasps> gorgeous effect, gorgeous. So, okay, went down that rabbit hole. Okay, I was like, oh no, my mom said to you again, but she's right here, I'm okay. Yeah, uh, coffee dyeing is fun. Um, I don't wear gloves, so my hands turn brown. Uh, there are ladies out there. I, you know, I get it, um, but uh, I think I'm more messy than I am neat. Um, I don't clean it just as fast as I mess it up kind of thing, you know. But um, I like that. That's that, that's creative fun to me. Um, if I had to wear gloves doing this, I probably wouldn't be doing it, truth be known. Because, um, uh, no. I don't like wearing a mask and I don't like wearing gloves. So, well, unless, you know, I'm gonna handle something I don't wanna be handling, then yeah, I want a pair of gloves. Like with the help and Scott, I got my own little husky gloves. Yeah, we'll keep those. Okay, but that's the Pioneer garb, I love that. We could just put a little tuck or even a little belly band there. We'll have to see. And we need to finish this one. Oh, you know what? That'd be pretty ass. I know I'm squirreling. I'm really wanting to play with spray inks. Can you tell? Okay, where's that? Yeah. Oh, that's the red. I want to do, and this is gold, golden earth. I love these colors. Wee. Just nice. Get my little Fiskers hole punch. I got these at Dollar Tree, I'm just saying. Okay. And I have no idea if you shouldn't punch while it's wet. I'm sure you're not, but you know. 
if there are no rules, then you're not breaking no rules, huh? I'm just saying. Oh, but I am making a mess on it. But that's okay. You can still ride on it. Just, you know, if it bugs you, be conscious of it. If not, I think that's just gorgeous. Gorgeousness. Okay, like I said, I'll get my camera. All right, where are we? Ah, something just flew at me. What is that? Oh. Oh, okay. All right, well, we like the garb. And I like Will Rogers. Trying to love that. We got that going on. Love that. Pioneer Woman. Punka City. Okay, here. I like that, but here we can put a... I still want to use that. I will. You know I will. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I like it like that. Oh, all right, done, sold. Okay. And yep, just don't overthink it, honeys. And when I like, you know, uh, it's late in the afternoon. Um, you know, if I can't figure out what to do, like either on a video with y'all, like I didn't know what mixed media I wanted to do. And so I had to ask myself, it's like, okay, well, what do you want to play with? And so I turn around, I look, and I'm like, well, I want to play with my spray inks. I haven't touched them in a hot moment. Oh, y'all. Goodness gracious. And so I want to play with my spray inks. So I got them out. And I was like, okay, I know. So I walk around, I ponder. Um, Scott brought some stuff from the little house I had to go through. And I was like, oh, good, that looks like, oh, I cut that page. Okay, sure. Oh, for sure, cut a page. Now, this is a perfect example of where these Fiskers come in. Ta-da. Just saying. And you just don't want to glue down, I understand. Let me persuade you. Oh, y'all, I am getting glue everywhere but where I need it. Pitiful. <sighs> Leslie was having a... Oh, I was watching how she was doing that folio. Um, oh, it's my whole... Oh, my lord. Um, it's uh, how to do that folio she's doing for Sam Pool Design Team. And it had the accordion pockets... I did have a video on that, uh, but accordion pockets. And I'm like, man, I want to do that. I need to do that. Because I'm, you know. Okay, here are our little tags. Which I think I shall just give a sliver there. And a little sliver there. Oh, maybe sliver here. Okay, that's cute. Oh, okay. I don't want to take the writing off. Up, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna sacrifice the green because I'd rather have the writing. There you go. And you know how I told y'all to save these? Um, oh goodness, this is gonna be off the fly, but I'm good at off the fly, I guess. All right, I'm going to get this. Okay, this is our envelope we did this morning for Junk Journal July. Okay. Itsy Bitsy. Okay, and I'm probably, I think I'm going to get more out of it if I go this way. And I'm just tearing it into thirds. Not a big deal. Might turn that up now. I'll leave it like that. Alright, here is your base. And here is some of that uh, notebook paper. Okay. And here is some of this. 
Yeah, I could put my hands on scraps if I tried right now. Nope, nope, not a one, not a one. They're all behind me. But anywho, well here, let's use part of this. Okay. You can make clusters. These are called clusters. And very, very, very simple to make. Like, I could sit here with my whole scrap box and make a gazillion of these and still have a boatload. All right, now, if you're worried about the staple, that's kind of, do I want that one? Yeah, I like that. That's when your washi tape comes in. You just cut your washi tape. Let me put my glasses on. This is kind of dirty, so I'm gonna add some glue. Okay. Just add some glue to the front. Okay. And then add some glue. You can also um, take your scissors handle and press them down. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You know, things only work when they want to, okay? And so I'm gonna fold down my washi tape, and ta-da! Now, if you had like a sticker or a little magazine thing of a flower and you wanna put that there, Perfect, and actually you could do this and now put that flower on top of it. I would if I had add one, but you know. But if you want to, you can always, always just put a little piece of washi tape back there and glue it so nobody catches their finger. But I found this is, this just works for me. And like when I find a little picture, I'll put a little picture on there, okay? And then I'll either um, tuck it in a pocket or um, uh, these uh, bulb pins. You know, you can punch a hole and just have it dangling with a, a close uh, a close pin, a um, paper clip. You know, or you could just paper clip it there. Right now, I'm just going to stick that in there. And you know, there's writing space on it. And Leslie's daughter Brittany calls them. Da, da, da. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Okay, do we like the Oklahoma State Fair? Building Oklahoma, we'll see. I do like that, that's good for writing. Uh, we could do something there. I know what we could do, spruce it up. We already have it. Sitting on the table. Ta-da. This is upside down. It's backwards. Do y'all know that? It's backwards. How funny is that? I'll take my little whiskers. Get my little whiskers over her. Tape and glue. Cuteness, I like that. And I uh, didn't realize, but there is just so on this page. And I also found, I had already decoupaged a couple of pages. Decoupage, collage, y'all, I am so sorry. I get so twisted. So see, I don't, I already have him, but I like the map. What is that of? That's a British, Connecticut, Georgia, Spanish. That's before Oklahoma even got here. So we might cover that. Okay. All right. Okay, let me see how long we've been going. Ooh, 34 minutes. I'm gonna call it um, homework assignment for me 
is I am going to take pictures of these and post them on Instagram. And if y'all have uh, followed along, would you please take pictures and go on Instagram, okay? And we'll do it all together, okay? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to come on this crazy creative journey with me, hit the subscribe button. And until my next video, I love y'all. Bye.